Hi everybody, I am here with Emmy from the YouTube channel Emmy Made in Japan. And Emmy actually lived in Japan and started vlogging there, huh? That's right, I, about two years ago now. That's so awesome. Yeah. So you guys need to check out our channel. She is a total foodie. She <laughs> opens up all this really interesting food from all around the world and eats it in front of the camera. It's super fun. And she is the most soothing voice and person on YouTube, I swear to you. Um, so anyway, so as <laughs> since I was with Emmy, I'm like, we've totally got to go and like do a haul together. So we went to an authentic Japanese market mm -hmm. and we bought all these different goodies and Emmy's going to help us kind of unpack it and help explain like how folks eat this and like why we should be eating these foods right and so let's get started so okay. Emmy, do you want to start with something? yeah um, so he, a few things that I have here are some typical things that you might have for um, a Japanese lunch so this is called an onigiri which is and here it says it in English it's a rice ball so I would call kind of call this like a Japanese version of a sandwich sometimes when you have this you'll have a couple other side dishes um, in this case we have something called kobocha which is um, kind of a stewed pumpkin, um, really delicious and sweet. And then something like this you might have. Um, this is hijiki, which is a type of um, black seaweed. Oh, seaweed. Yeah, it's delicious. So that's really typical. You'll have some sort of rice, um, and then you have a couple side dishes. That's a very typical kind of obento. But how cute is this? It's like literally like a little sandwich, and you can like dip in soy sauce, take a bite, and it's rice inside. I think that right. is just so brilliant. And this is so much healthier than like the glutinous breads and like, you know, packaged meats and stuff like that. So that's right. so cool. Right. I would say that rice is a huge staple in Japanese mm -hmm. cuisine. It's rice is in every meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the way you open it is you start with number one and you pull it down to break the seal. And you this is the important part. You must go all the way around and go through the tape all the way up. And break it all the way through. So that breaks the plastic. Again, we were trying oh. to keep the nori dry. Then you take number two and you pull this out. Again, it's keeping the nori separate from the rice. So I've already torn mine a little bit, but that's all right. So you pull that off. And so what it's done oh. is it separates it. Now it's sticking back to the rice. Now we hold this side and we do the same to the other side. And again, Fascinating. Now the rice can touch the seaweed. And it's in this really great triangular shape, which makes eating really easy. That is so cute. Isn't that clever? Yeah, darling. There you All go. right, cool. And then you yeah. can take a bite. Yummy. I'm going to soy sauce on. All right, yeah. Tadakimasu. There we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> so, mm. I have the... Okaka one, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what I have? Salmon. Mm -hmm. Or I have the sake, which is just um, the cooked salmon. And you have the bonito, mm -hmm. right? I'm trying to see. Which is a dried, a large, it's, I think it's nice. Skipjack tuna, and it's dried, mm -hmm. and then they shave it. It kind of almost has a little bit of a smoky flavor. That's right. Mm -hmm. They smoked it over um, coals, and that's what they use really miso to make the, the dashi stock. Nice, that's yeah. really nice. Now what would they like for dessert? Do they have kind of a sweet tooth or? Yeah, this is something, this is kind of tickle. This is um, called okashi, which is um, just a general word for Japanese traditional uh, desserts. This is, um, this one's called sakura mochi. Mochi is a pounded rice, sweetened rice, and it's sticky. So it has this pink color and it's wrapped in a salted um, cherry leaf and inside has a red bean paste. So I'll show you what that looks that's like. That's fascinating. Yeah, there's a lot of different permutations of this stuff, but delicious, here we go. Mmm, mmm. This one's actually different. Oh, yeah. really? Mm. I thought it was atsuki bean, which is a red bean paste. Yes. This is actually a white bean paste. Similar flavor. Mm hmm. Sweet, a little bit beany, but it ha what you end up really tasting is a sakura, which is that really floral scent. Mm hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. So Genevieve doesn't eat sugar, <laughs> so I'm going to He's going to try it for me. He'll be I, will, I will gladly be a substitute here. It's a choir taste. Come on in. It does smell just really delicious, like a cherry blossom, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. delicious. I love the sweet and sour stuff, like. But the leaf is salty. Mm. Yeah. Very it cool. is salty. That's very moist. And that's a bean like. paste inside. If you can see, it's like, it's like two-tone mm -hmm. inside like a Japanese Oreo or something, right? <laughs> it's filled. You Lovely. like it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I kind of went through the store kind of with that Mama Natural lens, trying yeah. to find like some really like super health food stuff. 
So I just want to show you a couple things I got. So these are just super fun. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these. These are just like sushi cones, basically. Open it by breaking the seal right here. And the reason why they package it like this is they want the nori, which has a beautiful, crunchy texture, to stay dry. Um, if that's the seaweed? That's right. Okay. If it touches the rice, it gets very soggy and um, oh. chewy. And so that just ruins half the pleasure of eating it. So basically, you unroll it, so you reveal the... It's so fascinating. You can see it's, it's kind of locked in its own little envelope. And you unroll it, and you have a cone of rice. And then you peel back oh, this. Oh, that's really what I missed. I, I kind of botched one of these earlier, so. To really, oh. like, to release your your piece of nori. Oh and then God. you roll. You kind of make it yourself. You can roll it. The trick is not to get your hand in it because you want to stay clean, but that's that's the tricky part. So then you unroll it and you tuck that in and then you just roll it back that in. That is so cool. And then you pull it out. Oh my gosh, that and is so cool. And there you go. So that's, so if you, I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah. it has a really beautiful, crunchy texture. And if you were to pack it up and take it for lunch, it would be soggy right away. I didn't really do mine that well, but no, that's I'll okay. keep practicing. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Enjoy. So often what um, they say before you eat is, they say, itadakimasu, which means um, I humbly receive this food. It Aww, just basically means like, beautiful. bon appetit, or yes. I'm ready to eat. I like that. Yeah, and you're welcome to put, um, Sho soy, uh, sauce. soy sauce, shoyu, or uh, wasabi if you like. Um, oh, I'll take a little. Sure. Look, you've got some. She's got some um, Japanese basil tucked in there. Is that That's what that right. is? That's yeah. so pretty. There's a shiso leaf in there, and there's some salmon oh. and some avocado. Yes. All right, here, here we go. go. All right, here we go. Mmm. 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 So good. That is really interesting, the crunch, because in the U.S., we don't do the crunch. That's right. In the U.S., they wouldn't... You know what this is like having it on toast, you know, bread on toast mm -hmm. versus plain bread? Mm-hmm. Love it. Then, green tea is such a powerful anti antioxidant, and yep. of course, you know, Japanese people drink a ton of green tea. Yeah. Um, so here was a green matcha, and actually, as you were sharing, that matcha is actually not something that a lot of folks, you know, have on a daily basis, it's more for a special... Uh, occasion, so to speak, mm. but um, I really, really like this one. And look how cool this is! It has like a like can opener to keep it right. fresh. Isn't that right. cool? Um, so I don't do a ton of caffeine, but the one exception I make is I do sometimes have the green tea because it has so many wonderful um, benefits. You know, in terms of the antioxidants, a beautiful green color. And that's really great if you make like homemade uh, yogurt, frozen yogurt, or homemade ice cream. Yum. That's what you would use to make your homemade green tea. That sounds delicious. It is. And it makes just a the color. color. Don't you think the color just looks it's so amazing. appetizing? And then this is um, kind of what they would have more like right. on a day to day basis. Right. A lot of times it would be sold like in tea bags. With this, I have kind of like a little thing I can put it in at home. I prefer loose leaf. I do too. Yeah. I think it's like fresher or something like that. This was super cheap. It was like two dollars, two fifty right. or something like that. Right. And there's a ton of tea in there. With green tea, that just like coffee or fine wine, there's a huge gamut in terms of uh, quality. This is sencha, which is very, very basic. So mm -hmm. this is your everyday tea and that's why it's so inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. like it. So those are a couple things. And then, oh, here is, this is a really popular, I guess, it's like the number one selling bottled drink. And Emmy was actually telling me that mm. What, they're vending machines instead of right. having soda. Right. They're filled with these. There are tons of vending machines. Wherever you go, you'll find yourself a vending machine. And typically, as opposed to in the U.S. where you'll find mostly sodas, um, Japanese vending machines have lots of teas and coffees and alternative drinks. You'll find a couple sodas, but um, in general, I feel like they're a little bit healthier, yeah. a little lower in sugar, mm -hmm. but definitely lots of tea. This is hojicha, which is a toasted green tea. Um, and that's really all that's in it. I mean, it's purified water, right. and I think it has like azorbic acid or something as a preservative, but like really clean. It's got filter, it's used with filtered water, because some of the mm -hmm. cheaper ones can just use like fluorinated water, that sort of thing. So this is really a neat kind of way, and it's unsweetened, which is right. awesome. And no calories. Well, thank you so much, Emmy, for unpacking all these delicious little treats. And in the comments below, let us know your favorite Japanese foods or meals or treats. Um, also, be sure to check out Emmy Made in Japan. Her YouTube channel is awesome. You guys, it's so much fun seeing all the food and all these interesting things from all over the world. And if you go there today, we actually have a link right here. There is a video featuring yours truly. It was so much fun to do with it her. Was it's really funny, and I hope you guys like it. And uh, yeah, so thanks for checking us out, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.